Hey, tell me why. I mean... Do you... Do you not love me anymore? Of course that's not it. I do love you. How much? I wrote her anniversary down in my calendar with a heart. That's how much. That doesn't help describe how much you love me. My name is Kazashi Matsunaga. I'm a third year in high school. And I have a girlfriend who I've been dating since my freshman year. Uh... My girlfriend's name is Miwa Ayasato. <laughs> Miwa was in the same class as me in my freshman year and sat next to me. Because of that, we started talking. We had the same hobbies and interests, so we got along immediately. We were just friends at first, but... Listen, should we try being in a relationship? What? Uh, I mean, we get along well, right? When I'm with you, I feel comfortable, and I have a lot of fun being with you, too. Less than lovers, more than friends might also be good, but I want to be something a little more official. Oh. Is that bad? Nope, I was thinking the same thing. R really? Our relationship now is good too, but once the two of us start dating other people, we won't be able to hang out the same way, right? But if we get into a relationship, we can be together all the time. So I think it's a great idea. Y yeah, I, I think so too. Then we're gonna be a couple from now on. Yep, I'm super excited. Just like that, the two of us started dating. We became a popular lovey-dovey couple on campus and... Boke! <laughs> How dare us you do that? What? Shakespeare? Is that you? But we were currently in the middle of a horrible crisis. Why won't you sign your name on these marriage papers, Kazashi? I mean, we're still students. Who cares? You're just gonna sign your name. I'll be satisfied if you just sign your name here. Sign it! I won't. <laughs> I knew it. You don't love me anymore. Why are we in this situation, you ask? The reason was straight and simple. It was because we were going to end up separated once we graduated from high school. I was going to attend a university in the city, while Miwa was going to a university in the countryside. Because of that, I was planning to live alone in the city. So basically, we were going to be physically separated. On top of that, Miwa was apparently super worried that a flashy city girl was going to steal me away. She doesn't trust me at all. <laughs> and that's why Miwa wants to show her some kind of commitment. And some marriage papers. Apparently, I could reassure Miwa by getting married to her. But I've been denying her pleas. Because of that, there was a crack in our relationship. I mean, I do want to get married to Miwa. After all, I love her. My camera roll is full of pictures of Miwa. And I've even created a Miwa exclusive photo album. But if I'm being honest, I had a bit of a negative feeling about marriage. These feelings weren't about getting married to Miwa, but of the concept of marriage itself. This was because I have complicated family issues and don't have a very good mindset when it comes to marriage. That's why I didn't know what to do when Mira rushed me into signing these marriage papers. Either way, please just give up already. I'm not going to sign my name there. It's too early for us. Uh, if you want to act like that, fine. I have an idea too. And that idea is... I won't tell you. Oh, goodness. Gosh, 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 gosh! I, Miwa 
Yasato have a boyfriend. My boyfriend's name is Kazushi Matsunaga. We've been dating since freshman year. We get along super well and I have so much fun being with him. I want to stay by his side forever. But... Why is Kazushi leaving me and heading off alone? I assumed that Kazushi was going to apply to the same university as me. Based on Kazushi's future plans, it was a bit strange that he was going to enroll in a university in the city too. But he ended up choosing a university in the city. I tried to follow him there, but my parents told me it was too early to start living on my own. Kazushi also told me that I shouldn't decide my future for him, which I thought was very true. I reluctantly decided to enroll in my first choice university. I mean, that was all fine. We had different paths we wanted to take in life. I knew that we'd have no choice but to be separated for a little while. <sighs> Mommy, that girl is sighing so big. She is? What a huge sigh. But Kazushi at the time, I felt like he just wanted to get away from here no matter what. It felt like he didn't have any hesitation about being separated from me. Thinking back, I haven't been able to accept Kazushi's love properly since that moment. No matter how many times he tells me that he loves me. Then why is he leaving me? I can't help but think about things like that. I'm starting to hate myself for thinking that way too. I'm such a clingy and annoying girlfriend. Onee-chan? Huh? When did this girl... Wait, who is she? Miwa Onee-chan? Huh? How do you know my name? I knew it! You're Kazushi Onee-chan's girlfriend, right? Huh? Kazushi Onee-chan... Wait, what does that mean? How do you know Kazushi? Oh, I'm Tamamo, Kazushi Onee-chan's little sister. What? Huh? Since when did Kazushi have a little sister? Onee-chan always tells me about you. You're super duper in love, right? What? Uh, yeah. Have you two kissed? She's so mature for her age. Um. Thanks for dropping my sister home. It's fine. I was worried about sending her home alone, too. More importantly, this is my first time hearing about you having a little sister. I visited your house a bunch of times, but I've never met her. Oh, we started living together recently. Recently? My parents got remarried. Uh, I didn't hear about that either. I don't think I needed to mention it. It's just personal information anyway. Huh. I'm getting kind of irritated. Listen, I love you, Kazushi. Do you get that? What? Oh yeah, I know that. So personal information or not, I want to know everything about you. Even if it's pointless information, I want to talk about everything with you. So don't make it sound like I'm not interested in you. I don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? Huh? Are you fighting? You two are lovey-dovey, right? It's not good to fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're not fighting. Yeah. Anyway, you're an adorable little sister. <laughs> good girl. 
Well, yeah. I want a big sister like Miwa Onechan. What? Did you hear that, Kazushi? What am I supposed to do about that? You know, if we get married, you know. I told you, we can't. It's too soon. Oh, gosh, you're so stingy. You're not getting married. What? Oni-chan, I want a big sissy. Uh, that's, um, well... Oh? Kazushi's resolve is wavering. <gasps> I just thought of a good idea. Hey, hey, Tamamo-chan. You want an older sister? Yes, I do! And will you get your Oni-chan's signature stamp and press it here? Okay. You can't do that! I can't? <laughs> I knew it! Kazushi can't be strict when it comes to his little sister. In that case, I'll team up with Tamamo-chan. I'll create a situation where he'll have no choice but to sign these marriage papers. All right! I'll distract Kazushi, so go get me his signature stamp. Yes, ma'am! Um... Recently, my girlfriend and stepsister have been acting very sketchy. Sneak, sneak. Hey, give me attention. Um. Out. What are they doing? Are you okay, Tamamo-chan? Uh, this cardboard box is so dark and I can't see anything in front of me. Then let's change it up so that you can see! Yay! I love arts and crafts! Was that background noise really necessary for your cardboard DIY? Whether it's necessary or unnecessary is up to me. What are you, a Pokemon trainer? All done! We can pretend to be a snake now. I have to buy a walkie-talkie now. Not fair. I want them to include me too. No, no, no. Huh? No, no, no. John, do you want to eat a snack? Why? I do! You're so mean. I'm technically your boyfriend, you know? Can't you give me some attention, too? Well, it's a good thing that my girlfriend and little sister are close. It's a great thing. Anyway, Kazushi, the thing is, Tamamo-chan has been saying that she wants an older sister. I want to make her my baby sister, too, you know? She's so cute. Yeah? So that's that! Here you go! Um. Jesus! Mm. What are you doing? Everything would have been perfect if things like this weren't happening, though. It seems like my girlfriend teamed up with my sister to make me sign the marriage papers. Oni-chan, you won't give me a big sister? Yeah, you should talk to your mom about that. Come on, even if she talks to her parents, she'll only end up with a little sister. A bird is going to carry a baby to us, right? I want a baby sister, too. Oh, she's so cute. By the way, my signature stamp is in the safe, so you won't be able to open it. Tamamo-chan, what's the password for the safe? Four six four six. Hey, hey! Tamamo-chan, you can't tell me. What? What are you, an annoying baseball coach who tells everyone to go home and gets mad when they actually do? Either way, 
Hey, did you know that that's actually gaslighting? Don't try to gaslight my little sister. I'm gonna listen to Onetan. She's being gaslighted? Well, let's return to the subject at hand, huh? Anyway, I'm not gonna sign those marriage papers just because you team up with my sister, okay? <sighs> While you're saying that, Tamomo-chan has already gotten her hands on your signature stamp. Here you go, Onei-chan. Oh, this is such a cute stamp of a bear. <sighs> Gosh, why are you sighing? You don't want to marry me that much? I bet you don't even love me at all. I told you, that's not what this is about. Then why are you going to leave me? I'm sorry, I was wrong for saying that. We have different paths in life, so I shouldn't have said it like that. No, I'm sorry too. <sighs> I wanted to be with her too. I wanted to go to the same university as her and enjoy our campus life together, but... Oh, is that your girlfriend? Oh, Mommy! Oh, hello! Thank you for having me. Of course, please get comfortable. Y yes, ma'am! By the way, I think we should have some tea and snacks. Oh no, it's fine. I'll go grab them. Yeah? Okay, could you please grab them then? Okay, I'm gonna make some tea. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Whew, she saw something I didn't want her to see. <clears throat> Kazushi? The following day. Hmm. Kazushi was acting weird. That woman is Tamamo-chan's mother and Kazushi's father's new wife, right? They just started living together, so it's probably normal that they're acting like strangers, but it seems like they were pretty awkward. But now that I think about it, I don't know Kazushi at all. Of course, I knew a good deal about his favorite foods, foods he didn't like, his weaknesses and strengths. I knew that he was a strong-willed and didn't give in once he decided on something. I also know that he treasures me. I'm very proud to say that he's my boyfriend, and I thought that I knew him pretty well. But from a wider perspective, there was a lot that I didn't know about. Now that I think about it, Kazushi doesn't talk about himself very often. It's not like he's keeping it a secret, but he probably thinks that I'm not interested in personal information. That's why he doesn't talk about himself. Kazushi probably doesn't know how much I love him. Even though I love him enough to write down our anniversary in our calendar with a heart. <sighs> Gosh. Huh? Thank you for everything, Kazushi Kun. Not at all. Don't worry about it. It's easily done. <laughs> In that case, I might depend on you again. What? Kazushi seems super close to another girl. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with him having one or two close female friends. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm super proud that he's my boyfriend. <laughs> what is this? I'm so jealous. I've made my decision. If I'm going to be a college student enough, Kazushi stolen from me by some cute, flashy city girl, I have no choice but to force him to be mine. So that's that, Kazushi. Prepare yourself. Prepare myself for what? You've been whining about how you don't want to get married to me, so I've decided to take the final step necessary. I wasn't whining. Okay, Tamamo-chan, do it! Aye, aye, Captain! What are you planning to do? Tickle you! That's so cute. Alright! If you don't want that to happen, then you must sign the marriage papers. Sure, do what you want. I'm not ticklish. Uh, he's not lying. It doesn't 
doesn't work at all! Oh, you made Tomomo-chan cry! <laughs> My heart hurts. I'll forgive you if you marry on Nechan. You're just saying whatever now, aren't you? You don't want to marry me that much. I never said that I didn't want to marry you, did I? I'm just saying that it's too soon. Listen, can you actually talk to me? Talk? About what? About you, Kazushi. I had no clue about your little sister or about your dad getting remarried. I won't know you if you don't talk to me. And why you chose to go to a university in the city, things like that. Talk to me. It makes me super sad because you won't communicate with me. Well, it's not like I was purposefully hiding it. It's also not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just, well, I thought you'd think I was lame. So it was hard to tell you and... And talk to me! I'll make sure to think that you're lame. So mean, aren't you? Even if I find out one or two things about you that are lame, who cares if I already know 100 things that make you amazing? Oh, it's just I felt uncomfortable being at home. At home? I never told you about it, did I? I was my mom's... Uh, oh, no, not my stepmom, okay? I was originally a stepson of my father, so I'm not biologically related to him. What? So when my mom passed away, my dad raised me even though we weren't biologically related. He's a great person. So now that he remarried, he has a new family. Oh. It's a strange family where none of us are really related by blood. But everyone seems so happy. And I feel like the odd one out. I feel like Tamamo's mom is a bit reserved around me. And that's why you wanted to leave? I think Dad wants to enjoy his time with his new family, too. Of course, I know that there are not people who would think that I'm in the way, but when I started thinking about how I might be a bother for them, you know. Oh. Well, that's that. I felt a little uncomfortable here, so I chose university in the city. Why didn't you tell me? Like I said, it's lame, isn't it? I kind of sound like a clingy and whiny guy. Stupid! You should have told me if you felt lonely, I would have given you attention instead! That makes me such a clingy guy. And that's fine! You're my boyfriend! So in exchange, you just need to give me attention as my boyfriend when I'm feeling lonely. When you keep all your problems in like that, I don't know what I should do. Oh. Rather than not knowing what I could do for you, it's better to know that I could solve everything by giving you attention. Simple and clear, right? You're absolutely right. But, thank God, I was honestly worried. I was starting to think that you wanted to distance yourself from me or something like that. Of course not. I, I love you, Miwa. Kazushi. Ah, ooh. Uh, um, what is it? Are you going to uh, kiss? What? what? You're going to kiss, aren't you? Ooh, my heart is beating so fast. I want to see you do kiss. She's, She's so, so mature, mature for her age. age. Back to the subject at hand. But why won't you sign your name on the marriage papers? Well, you know how I have a complicated family, right? So, I don't know. I just can't think of marriage in a good way. Even if you're getting married to me? I'm not saying that, but at the very least, I think we should get married after we become proper adults who can take our responsibility. I don't want to make a careless promise for the future and break that promise later on. Oh, gosh, you're so stingy. Did you hear what I said? I think I said something pretty wise. 
It didn't move my heart at all. You're so mean. Well, fine. I guess I can wait for you. But if some flashy city girl brings you to her house, I'm not going to forgive you, okay? You don't have to worry about that. I only have eyes for you, Miwa. <laughs> You're so stupid. I know that. And just like that, it seems like it would take just a bit longer for the two of us to get married. Bonus clip. Onita-chan! Did you kiss my onita You're so mature for your age. What does a kiss taste like? I want to know too. Um, let's see. My first kiss tasted like pickled vegetables. Pickled, huh? Pickled vegetables, pickled, pickled. Tamamo's been singing a weird song recently. Do you know what that's about? Nope, not a clue. 